Okay, what's up guys? My name is Akordi Dia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dodge and burn fast in Photoshop or how to add that beautiful 3D look to your image or how to add that beautiful shine like you can see over here onto your image in Photoshop. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and start editing. So as you can see over here, I already edited this one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this one. We're going to hide it. And then we're going to create a new one. So first and foremost, we're going to create a curves adjustment layer. We're going to and click on curves. So over here, we're going to just increase the brightness a little bit like this. And then we're going to hide it. Then we're going to change the blending mode to luminosity. So we'll select luminosity. Yeah, so now this is what we have in our image is looking kind of white. Yeah, so we're gonna change the name over here to Dodge. Then we're gonna double click on it. So this will bring about the blend if I mean that's what we're gonna use to edit um, or add this effect to our image. So we're gonna move to the underlying layer like this, and then we're gonna drag this handle over here to the right like this so as you can see our image is changing so that's the kind of look that we're going for so we're gonna hold alt like this and then click on this handle to um to split it so now we're gonna drag the uh, the right side a little bit to the right like this and then we're gonna drag the left side to the other side to the to the left side so as you can see over here, you can see some changes in our image over here. So we're going to just adjust it just to get the level of shine that we want on our image. So, so I think this is enough. So we're going to click on OK. Yeah, so just like this, we've created our dodge effect on the image. Let's see the before and after. When I hide it, as you can see over here, the effect is gone. And then, yes, when I unhide it, you can see on her forehead, you can see the beautiful effect showing over here and then on, on her nose as well. So like, just like this. So this time around, we're gonna apply the, this effect only on her skin. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the layer mask over here and then press ctrl and i to invert so now the effect is gone on our image so we we'll select the brush tool and then increase the size and we we'll set the opacity to 100 and the flow to 100 as well then we're going to change we we'll press x to switch between the foreground and the background color so we're gonna set the foreground color to white like this and then we're gonna brush over her skin just to make the effects appear only on her skin without the background so as you can see i've maxed out the skin over here and this part all right so let's check the before and after so this is the before and then this is the after so now we've created our dodge effect but if you want the effects to be more intense so you just double click on the caps icon over here and then you just you know increase the brightness like so just to increase uh, just to intensify the effect at the same time if you want the effect to also spread to other parts of a face you're gonna double click and then we're gonna play around with the handles again so as you can see when I pull it back you can see the effect spreading to other parts of her face and I think this one is okay so I'm gonna select okay so let's see the before and after so this is the before and this is the after yeah so we're gonna to move to the burn now so we're gonna use the same procedure I will go here 
and then press and select scale and this time around we're gonna drag the handle down like this to darken the image all right all right so we're gonna hide it so we're gonna go to the same thing the same thing we did before we're gonna double click and then we're gonna this time around instead of pulling this one back instead of pulling the first uh, handle back we're gonna pull the second handle rather to the left so we're gonna pull it back like this this is the point where you see the effects occurring on your image so just like this and I'm gonna hold alt click to split and then I'm gonna even it out like this so you don't want this effect too strong on your image yes I think this is okay for me so I'm gonna press ok I'm gonna check the before and after so this is the before and this is the after I'm gonna change the name to burn okay so the same way we did to the dodge we're gonna do the same thing to the burn as well so I'm gonna hold Control and I to invert the layer mask and then I'm gonna use the brush with white as a foreground color opacity at 100 and then flow at 100 then I'm gonna brush at the, at the places where I like I, I want to burn so yeah let me zoom out and see so this is what we have in. let's check the before and after so this is the before and this is the after so when we're done we're gonna group the effects together in one folder so we press shift and then click on the dodge and then press ctrl and g on the keyboard to put it in a group so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press here to see the before and this is the after so this is the before and then the after as you can see in the burn in the dodge sorry the effects peeled out a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna with a brush to select that we're still gonna set the foreground color to black like this and then we're gonna brush onto the parts that we don't want it to show like the background and let's check the before and after again so this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after as you can see we have our dodge and burn done easily and very fast so whenever in your future projects you want to do your dodge and burn you can just use this procedure to get it done as fast as possible for you so thank you so much for watching if this video helps you in any way kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video too as well see you guys in the next one bye